What's up my Koopa Troop, it's Koops, and welcome back to some more Plants vs. Zombies 2! Guys, I just started the game up, and we have a Yeti spawning in here, and it says to go quickly after the Yeti. I'm gonna go run over to this level 3 here to see if we can go ahead and grab this Yeti. There he is, right there, I see him! I see him trying to hide. So, we're gonna go ahead and take on this Yeti, and then move back over to continuing on with the mission, or the game, I should say. So, I have found out that I really do not like the pea shooters that much in this game. Not that they are the end of the world or anything like that, uh, but I don't know. I'm just I've just not been uh, not been liking them that much. Let's see here. Now I kind of maybe maybe wanted that. Yeah, I'll go like I'll go like this. Let's do this. So because of the fact that the tombstones pop up and get in the way of being able to shoot any of the zombies in that lane, I found that I really just don't like <laughs> the pea shooters. The uh, Cabbage bolts end up being the same cost, or the same amount of sun, I should say. And so because of the same amount of sun, I can go ahead and just plant one of those down. And as soon as that's planted down, it'll start attacking the zombies as soon as they walk in the field, as well as when there's no zombies in the lane, it'll go ahead and attack, uh, you know, the uh, tombstone, which I got really unlucky in this placement here, because now I have to save up enough sun for... I'll go ahead and save up enough sun real fast. I can also slow this guy down, which I probably will go ahead and do if need be. We'll let him walk on top of that one. There we go, that'll freeze him up. Alright, so that should now have enough time to go ahead and kill off that zombie right there. I went ahead and used that because that was free and so it's not a problem whatsoever. I'm going to need to save up enough sun once again for a cabbage poult. Now, you can see this is a one of those green zombies, meaning he'll give off some of that delicious, delicious plant food that we always so desperately need in this game. <laughs> so it is really useful though and pretty cool. We've shown off, I think, most of all of the plants so far. Everyone that I have listed here, we've definitely shown off their abilities. We saw the cabbage bolts, as well as the bloomerings. As well as some other of these guys. Let's go ahead and throw it at this guy. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we've seen all of them now. We've seen the bok choy, we've seen the walnut, so we have seen them all. Now, I, I think there's an achievement for letting this raw zombie right here steal steal like a bunch of sun and then go ahead and kill him. I think that, that's one thing, one strategy you can do. I'm gonna go ahead and have this guy get frozen. I don't want him to go ahead and eat all my sun plants. That would be a little unfortunate, so I will go ahead and take him out real quickly like that. And now we've got all of our lanes defended finally. Like I said, this is why I like the cabbage bolts, is because there's no zombie in that lane, so he's gonna go ahead and attack the tombstone. If I only had the pea shooters, that's all they could attack, as opposed to, you know, other things. I'll go let this guy steal some sun here. And I will steal it back in a second as soon as he's dead. I just want to see how it works out. There you go. You can see all four sun popped out from when he stole. That's pretty cool. I'll go and put another one up there to try and work on those. Now let's see. As opposed, for our, I now have a couple of sun fruits, in which I should go ahead and use. A couple of you guys have been yelling at me in the uh, comments saying, "Coops, make sure you use your <laughs> your plant food, as it does not it does not uh, uh, carry over between levels kind of thing." So it's one thing I should do a little bit better, as I have not done it. Zombies down here. So I do have two right now. There's another zombie coming down that way. Let's go ahead and use it on this guy. Uh, fire a bunch of those, which will give me another one for free. And now I have just a little bit more sun to go before I finally get a plant. My last bloomerang I'm going to need for these lanes. There we go. So now our defenses are all set up pretty nicely. At this point in time, I'm just adding extra ones, which will probably be the bok, the bonk choy, I should say. So let's go ahead and add them right here. I'll put one walnut and then the bonk choice as I have enough sun for that, which there we go, now I do. I'm full up on my boomerang, so I'll go ahead and throw that out at those guys. Nice, a little bit of damage there. We also can use it on the cabbage bolts in the back. Let's go ahead and give that a try. So I'll put one right there and he's going to fire those forward. And it hits all zombies. Now, I'm not sure how useful that actually is, but it does hit all zombies in the lane. So that's kind of cool, I should say. I should go ahead and keep planting my bonk choy. I don't want these things to die. I was going to plant walnuts when I had them, so there we go. If we get another one of these, let's go ahead and use it. I probably could use it on the other thing, but we'll see how that works out. Oh, and the guy did die in time, so that works out alright. Here comes that huge wave of zombies approaching. This should be the last of the waves. There's the Yeti zombie right there. I see him. I see him. Put this in this lane. This will go ahead and kill that guy from behind. He didn't even know what happened, man. He did not even know. Here comes that Yeti zombie. Let's go ahead and go all out on him. There we go. Lost his head and we got the Sasquatch. We destroyed a Yeti zombie. We also got some kind of 
bucket for our uh, lunchbox for our troubles. I'm not sure what that was all about. I went ahead and planted a couple more extra things. So there we go. Just get a little bit of extra money from defeating that one. Now I wonder what that lunchbox is all about. Let's see if the game tells me. All right, tap each lunchbox to reveal prizes. It was a lunchbox, that's cool. Open it all up, let's see what we got. We've got one key. One, one key. Is that all we got for defeating that Yeti zombie? Well, that's good anyways, we need to get keys as it is. I think that, oh wait, now we have, no, now we have five keys. We used to have three. No, we used to have two. Yeah, we used to have uh, two keys. I think it gave us three keys, that's pretty cool. All right, so now we are moving on to this level 11 over this way, which we have not accomplished just yet. We don't have enough keys to take no, uh, numerous paths now that we, if we want to. But we'll work on that after this one, maybe. Whoa, whoa, this world goes to 11, that's crazy. That's crazy talk, yeah, that is crazy. All right, survive a massive attack in ancient Egypt. All right, well, hopefully we can do just that to earn a star. So we're still on my trip. There's a bunch of zombies, uh, or tombstones, I should say. Sarcophagus back there couple of camels so we got a whole whole range of zombies now this is one of those ones where we just gonna go ahead and plant these guys and I should go plant this right away and we'll start working on killing off those tombstones as there are quite a lot of them I'm gonna need to kill that guy down there however this walnut's not gonna help me that much let's see if I get something else this conveyor belt's not not really helping there we go go ahead and plant that there hopefully that'll kill it in time it does fire a little bit slower, but does more damage. I would really like that to kill it in time. It might not, though. Oh, he's, he's looking pretty weak. I will go ahead and save this for a second. Yep, it did kill him. Okay, so I'm going to need this repeater. Now I'm going to go ahead er, and put this one there. I'll go ahead and give this thing some plant food to start making its way through that one, as well as do some damage to that guy back there. Sweet. Only fires one last big shot. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. This bonk toy can go there. However, I really want that, really want that gone, so I can put this walnut down to go ahead and defend him as well. Plant this guy right back here to also start working on that zombie. Come on, get that thing down in time. Come on. And it did not. So I think we're getting a little lucky here. Yeah, that's gone. All right. Well, it, it tried. I don't know if it's gonna be able to kill this thing now. I'm gonna go ahead and plant this right behind it. As well as I'm going to go ahead and freeze everyone real fast. Like that. So hopefully these guys can now kill this thing off in time. As it's kind of looking a little dangerous there. Uh, let's see where else should I plant this. I'll plant this a little bit farther forward than I had last time. Now that I have a little bit of space. One zombie's still frozen, but he's not dead yet. Now he finally lost his, lost his helmet. I'll leave that ice thing there. Come on, kill this guy off in time. Finally, good. I didn't want to lose that in the back. That would have been annoying. These things for an extra line of defense right there. There goes another bonk choy. So our, we're looking all right right now. That, that one zombie will run over top of that uh, iceberg lettuce if he gets too close. Find another one right there. All right, so now we're looking pretty good on defense. That walnut's looking the opposite way as he gets munched on. Now these, okay, I need this on top there. That'll help finish off these guys. It is a long camel train with four of them. I might save my plant food for the upcoming waves of zombies we're gonna have happening soon. Add some more firepower up here to this lane. What do we need against these guys? In fact, I might just need to go ahead and get rid of that as well as start working on all of them back there. Well, I killed the one zombie instantly. That's pretty funny. Didn't realize it would do that. One zombie just walks on by and gets destroyed, but other than that, I'm working still in the setup back here. These bomb choice do so much damage up close, I really like it. However, they're just, you know, they can only hit one range forward. That's, that's a bit annoying. But other than that, they're doing, they do so much damage. It's really, really great. Give me your plant food. I need that. Let's see here. None of the other zombies are really posing a threat right now. I, I could put more bonk choys down, but I don't have any walnuts to defend them. So I want to hold off on that if possible. Let's go ahead and, oh, there's still another one. Let's go ahead and give this guy to this right here. Let's go ahead and finish off that guy real fast. I said I wanted to save the, the I said I wanted to save the uh, the plant food, but then I went and wasted it anyways. That's all right. These guys are going to throw a couple of dog bones, which create a tombstone. However, unfortunately for me, I can't attack that for some reason. That kind of sucks. One zombie died instantly. This guy's going to get shot from behind or attacked from behind. So far, stuff's so looking pretty good. I need this 
probably in this lane. It doesn't really matter. I suppose they're both lanes are equal right now. One zombie's not dead just yet. That would be nice if he would die. I'll go ahead and add this more firepower to finish him off rather quickly. This plant food right there. Looking for some more walnuts. Got another one of those plant foods. There's my last boomerang. Sweet, so our defensive setup's looking pretty good. Obviously, a repeater would make it look super pretty. I would like some walnuts to add for my bonk choy. I could just go ahead and plant the bonk choy down. And I can do that, but I'll wait a little bit longer. We still have quite a ways away left in this. And the zombies aren't getting too close just yet. I do have a bunch of the iceberg lettuce, which I can always use to go ahead and freeze the zombies and make them wish they never came this way into my lawn. Which I'm not even sure what I'm defending at this point in time because it's not like this is my house or anything back here. There we go, there's a walnut, perfect. Now I have a bonk toy there. Here comes a huge wave of zombies, which we are gonna make them all suffer real fast, I think. That'll freeze all of them right there. Now we can add one of these right here, which will fire cabbage bolts at all zombies. So that's where that one comes in handy right there, just like that. Now I should have planted that iceberg glass so far back because now no zombies are ever gonna get that close, but that's all right. Oh well. <laughs> If they get that close, they will be screwed by that thing. I didn't want to put it, I should put it more forward, that way one of them would actually walk on top of it. Now I do have two of these again. Let's go ahead and actually iceberg glass these guys so they don't ruin my stuff. That would be rather unfortunate if they did that. That'll get rid of all of their firepower. Which would awfully suck, honestly, if they got, if they used that and were able to kill my stuff. Would not be appreciative of that. Now what else can I go ahead and plant these on? I'll go ahead and another, plant another one of these on this guy. That does the massive damage of the cat of the cabbage pot on top of numerous zombies. Always very useful. I have another extra bonk choice. So I'm going to go ahead and plant that one there for a line of defense while I'm waiting. The boomerangs are useful, but I don't really need to uh, use a plant food on them just yet, as you know, they're really just. They only fire. They fire one lane, but they also fire forward and backwards and downwards, but there's no zombies obviously downwards, so that wouldn't help me out that much. Otherwise, our stuff is looking pretty good. There's my last wall that I really needed. That one zombie died before I even had a chance to munch on anything. A bunch of zombies came in here, but they're all gonna die. Now let's go ahead and try this on this lane right here. Let's go ahead and give it a shot, see what it does. Go off those zombies rather quickly. We are getting quite a lot of plant food. In fact, I can go ahead and keep using some plant food on this guy right here, finish off some of those. Perfect. Yeah, keep, you keep eating the plant food pretty quickly, actually. So, might as well keep using it if all possible. I'm gonna go ahead and dig up this guy, put my boomerang in its place. Let's see, what else can I use? I can go ahead and use this on this lane right here. Maybe another one on this guy right here. See if he can just beat the crap out of that guy. Yeah, he did, that's awesome. I also kill that zombie underneath him as well. Go ahead and set that right there. Those zombies are dying really quickly. Here we go, some iceberg lettuce. Freeze off those two guys right there, so that way they don't get a chance to use any of their fire. Because remember, their fire just immediately kills one of my plants instantly. It doesn't even have a chance to defend itself. So that's rather unfortunate if you ever let them have that happen. Was well, that the last wave of zombies? I don't even. I didn't even see. Oh no! Here comes the last wave right here. All right. So we'll go ahead and set up some of our iceberg lettuces. Just we'll freeze a couple of zombies as needed. This lane, we can go ahead and firepower right there. We can use this on the cabbage pole right there to do massive damage. Boom! And we got another one. Let's go ahead and use it on. I don't know, maybe that one right there. Hopefully, do some more damage to that last guy. And I think that was everyone. There we go. We got King Nut. We completed Ancient Egypt just like that, guys. Ooh, sparkly. We're gonna get a pyramid for all of our hard work this time. So I thought that one went very well. We defended quite, quite nicely. That was the last mummy. <laughs> That's a wrap! <laughs> According to my gauges, user Dave has been waiting to use that joke since we got here. Do you know what's better than a wrap? A taco! Let's go! Let's go, guys! Let's go! All right, so Crazy Dave wants that taco. All right, we have access now to the Pyramid of Doom. 24 more stars obtainable in ancient Egypt. Stargate available for the pirate seas. All right, so we have a lot of new stuff unlocked that we're gonna be exploring in the next couple of episodes, guys. Really hope you enjoyed this episode. Please remember to leave a like if you did, and I will see you guys next time for more Plants vs. Zombies 2. Peace.